guys, Jeremiah here with Trapping Today, and in this video I'm going to show you how I preserve meat for trapping bait. So it is March, it's uh, getting toward the end of winter as I record this, and I got some beavers that I trapped this winter, and uh, those, uh, I don't have a bunch of freezer space to put them in, but I want to use this meat as trapping bait for next fall. So if you're not going to be able to freeze it, and it's going to get warm outside, and it's going to be hot all summer, uh, there are some other ways to preserve trapping bait, and if you're going to, uh, if you want to keep bait for yourself, if you want to get into lure making, bait making, you're going to need to know how to preserve this stuff. Uh, salt is the most basic. I had a video showing on uh, how to preserve this stuff with salt. Um, this is a little bit of a different process, um, but basically, what we're going to do, and I think as far as making a real like professional quality bait, this is probably the way you're going to want to go. Um, so I have these beaver carcasses, and we have already uh, skinned the beaver, so we get the pelts, we stretch and dried the pelt, we get the casters, uh, the casters are going to be sold on the market or used for lure making. I kept the oil sacks, those are going to be used for lure making. I kept the tails to render down to beaver tail oil, and I showed that in the video as well. Um, I kept the skulls, going to try to sell the skulls for a different market, uh, for kind of an education type market or decoration. So we're utilizing everything we can with this beaver. Now uh, a lot of people, there's, there are some people actually that, that will eat beavers but you got to catch them fresh. Um, these guys are not fresh. Um, you can feed these to dogs, especially if you have sled dogs, you have a, a large number of dogs uh, that, that you got to feed. This is really good meat for them. So basically what we're doing here is I've had these outside for quite a while and I had them in under the snow and you can preserve bait a couple of different ways. You don't want it rotten and you, you either want it fresh or tainted. And basically if you get it rotten and you're trying to trap for predators like coyotes or other canines or mustelids like weasel family, um, if it's really rotten, especially dogs, they're going to want to roll in it. And uh, it won't it won't make for a very good trapping bait. You want them to, to be really curious about it, and, and uh, you don't want to think of it as a food. So we don't want it rotten, but also we may want it fresh in some cases. In this case, I don't. I'm not going to have this fresh. Uh, what I did was I tainted this meat slightly, and what that means is you let the bacterial process of breaking down the meat get started and going. This can be just take just a few days if it's 50, 60 degrees out. Uh, if it's 40 degrees, it can take a fair bit longer. Uh, these ones have been taining for a couple of weeks now. Um, and they just, what that does is it gives it a little extra smell and it allows that to have more of an attraction and the animals are able to pick up on that scent from a longer distance. If, you got, if you're in a normal, nor, northern climate like I am, uh, your animals are going to uh, have some cold weather and they're going to need to uh, maybe... Uh, detect that scent a little more because the scent's not going to carry as well in colder weather. So basically what I did, I let these carcasses taint a little bit and then I've been cutting the meat off of the bones and I'm, as I'm cutting the meat off, uh, I'm cutting it up into very small chunks. So these are all individual little chunks of beaver meat and uh, they're small because I get a small grinder, um, a bigger grinder you can, you can go with bigger chunks but uh, this, uh, I lost my grinder when my first shed burned down a year ago, so I, I had to buy another one, and this was the cheapest one I could find that I thought would work for me. So um, we're going to grind this up. Uh, the reason we want to grind it up, it allows the meat to be very well incorporated. It's all mixed up, and then the preservative we put in it is going to work better. So let's start with the grinding process. This is going to get a little bit loud. <laughs>
ears. Um, I may not have quite what I need for quantity here, but I didn't want to have you have to watch that forever. So basically, um, we've got a nice ground, uh, bunch of ground beaver meat here. This consistency, there's enough uh, fat and sort of uh, long stringy material. It, it makes kind of a pasty consistency. Um, if you smell it, you may not want to smell it, but it smells sweet. It's uh, It's got a little bit of odor to it, but it doesn't smell like rancid or anything. So um, it's going to be a good, pretty good powerful odor. Now, if you want this to get stronger, you can have this set for a while and let it break down a little more, get a little more smell to it to the point you like it. And then you do what uh, lure and bait makers will call you stop it. And stopping means you stop the breakdown process. And what we're going to use as a preservative, you can use salt, you can use sodium benzoate, which is what we're going to use, or methyl paraben. Sodium benzoate it seems to be the best compromise between uh, price and uh, effectiveness. And this, I've got about, I'm going to say about a, a quart of meat here ground up. And this stuff, uh, really easy to get, it's in a powder form. Uh, I get this from, this This bottle comes from Cots Brothers Lures, Cots Bros, K-A-A-T-Z, bros.com. Um, they sell a bunch of this lure bait making stuff. And uh, the, the formula, so the suggested formula to preserve meat is going to be uh, one ounce per quart of meat. And uh, if you use methyl paraben, that works really well, but it's wicked expensive. Uh, it's the same deal. Salt, uh, usually a one to eight ratio on the salt to meat, um, uh, it, but it, it varies a lot. I, I do, I put more salt than that. But basically this, I have a tablespoon here. Two tablespoons is an ounce. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of sodium benzoate. Uh, I usually go a little bit on the high side. There'll be a uh, little kind of heaping tablespoons, if you will. I'd rather um, be safe uh, and have a little bit of extra. So you put that powder in. Be careful not to breathe it in. And then we're just going to mix it thoroughly in the bait. And you see the powder kind of getting that mixed in. Um, if you want to be really exact, make sure you have a quart of, uh, of meat to mix that. Two tablespoons in, I'm probably a little less than a quart here. Um, but anyway, we're going to mix that, mix that, mix that um, until it gets uh, to where it's all incorporated well. That's why we like ground meat for sodium benzoate because it's a lot it's able to uh, fully incorporate into uh, a large portion of, of that meat. So we get that all mixed up nicely, check the consistency. Um, I really like this consistency. It's really like a, a sticky, uh, pasty type of bait. I think that's about perfect for what I'm looking for. If you want it a little more sticky, if it's kind of uh, uh, you know crumbling around the portions of, of uh, ground meat or crumbling and stuff, you can add glycerin to that. That'll help it get more of a sticky consistency. Um, there's other things you can add to thicken it up. Uh, if you want to. So that's the basics. Um, believe it or not, this with sodium benzoate, I put this in a plastic bag, seal it up, put it in a five gallon pail. You open this up six months from now, there'll be a little bit of a crust over the edge where the, the oxygen uh, got to it a little bit. You break through that little crust, that's going to be just look the same and smell the same as it did the day that you preserved it. So uh, it's a really great way to preserve bait. You can do this in large quantities. Uh, I'm going to do about uh, 20, 25 gallons worth for the upcoming trapping season. So uh, it's, it's really easy to do and uh, you can take advantage of the meat that you have available at the time and you can preserve it uh, for later. You can also add other stuff to this to make it a more attractive bait. You can add fish oil, um, a number of different things uh, to uh, spice it up, a little bit of beaver caster maybe. Um, you can go a number of different directions. but. That's the basics of bait preservation. Hope it helps, and we'll see you next time.